What's up guys, this is the Rohan and I am back to bring you the first episode, the first brand new episode of a new campaign. So the first winner of the new vote was the Knights of St. John, so they will be they will be taking up the first spot. The second one is in Louisiana, which will probably be going up in... Well, when I get to part five of this campaign, then I'll load up um, Louisiana. And there has been a bit of discussion in the comments about, is this my hardest is this the hardest campaign in the game and it was actually a toss-up between louisiana and knights of st john um but i'll get into that when we get in there so we're on hard hard world domination let's crack on so i've got this set to so i've got darth and toad um, all factions mod and i've got the darth mod launcher set to custom sometimes i think on certain types of campaign setting this is just fog of war and you have to hit end turn to get this to load up but this time it seems to be working just fine so obviously by the knights and john we only own malta and that is it so one of the first things we want to do is to break our shipyard and rebuild it into a trade port because we have a little bit of cash and our treasury minister is brilliant and he's only 25 so we should be able to do pretty much play the game with this guy there's some other good ministers as well so let's pick you plus one treasury plus one management plus one justice plus one management plus one minus one treasury so you what i'm basically reading is you want to be in the justice region job plus one treasury plus one management plus one justice plus one management plus one happiness so basically you're if, we, if we're assuming both of these are full Because you would be three becomes four, five becomes six for justice, which is what we've already got. To be honest, you might. You're five basic, so you can replace the guy on the army. And this guy's probably not. We need people that are six basic now. Ooh. So he's three. Three basic becomes four for treasury, becomes five for treasury. Plus six for treasury. Ah, still not close enough. But they're all still four basics, so they don't beat our guys. So that'll do. Obviously, we can't do any trade because we don't have a port. Um, it's tempting to build. Well, I was going to say it's tempting to build the governor's barracks, but all of these guys require tech to re to recruit, which I don't have because I have no schools. So right now, that's actually. A bit of a waste of money. So I've got a bit of roads in Malta to try and counteract the shrinkage. Actually, does this get us line infantry? Yeah, scratch that, we do want that. Put a couple of units of regiment of horse just to tide us over, because right now there's not really a lot to do. Um, what I could do is actually send... Nope, you can't. You cannot raid you can raid their port and go back so we can't get any trade agreements because we have no port to do that so and there's no point trying to buy tech off people yet um a because we need the money and b because no one's actually got the tech we need so our first target um is going to be the north african coast the barbary states that's our first target. I need to be very careful that we don't go to war with... Well, we go to war with as fewer people as possible because the problem is... Uh, no. The problem is, is that we are very, very weak militarily and economically. So there's only so much we can actually do what you're going to see a lot of is just burning turns at the start. So Spain has provinces, Portugal and Marathas, and a unit of horse. We did see their navy sail north, so that's left their port exposed to raid. And they did repair you, so just raid them both again. It's going to take two turns for the trade port to be built, four turns till we start getting line infantry. I'm not going to build um, militia, I'm going to resist that temptation. 
if I'm going to have an army, I want it to be. Well, I may have to build. In, I may have to build some militia to fill it out. But I, my, my main target will be to hit Tripoli, then push west, hopefully, all the way to Morocco. Because Morocco, I think. No, we're not Morocco does not have a have a um, naval building, so we're limited how far we can go down this tree. We do not have an admiralty, but it does provide us with a lot of towns and potential ports out east, out west. Sorry, I should say. Um, as is tradition, let's just keep keep raiding their ports. Because we want, we don't, we want as little, as little um, Baltic states shipping to exist as possible. At least for the meantime, when we ship an army over there, things will be, be a bit different. When we do ship an army over there, we're going to have lots of problems. Um, we're not going to have, we're going to have a competing requirement for either church schools, which I think is probably going to be the first priority. But then also, um, regular schools for education. Okay, we need to pick our allies wisely. Trouble is, lots of people I thought would like us. Well, I can't trade with Spain at all. I mean, I'll try to trade with the Austrians. And ideally, I'd like to trade with France and Spain because they're more of the traditional ally. Same with the Italian states actually they're a traditional ally. I mean Britain would have been a, should have been a good one to actually get to try and stop them from invading us as they seem to always do. We've got Cobble Road and we've got our port. So we're now going to start getting in a little bit more a turn. Not much but a thousand. I'm going to resist the temptation to build a big army while this is going on. The good thing about Malta is that it is, it is fortified. So if we do get attacked to our capital city, if I keep a handful of units back here, it, we should be able to throw off quite a lot of attacks. Um, still, I still can't build anything. I don't know why I'm looking. But a unit, another unit of regiment of horse. Okay, so so Austria. Let's see what. Technologies we can buy off of you. Nope. Um. Nope. So that's going to be what that's going to be our main method of of uh, growth, of technological growth. And I'd like to think once I've taken the North African coast, we should be a bit more stable. We should have a decent amount of cash to pick a decent enemy to attack, like the Ottomans. Awesome. So let's start building up some line infantry. Nope, I didn't mean to immediately send you out. Just go back to raid. So they do have forts, fortifications. They don't make much money at all. They've got a trade port, which is handy, but nothing else. So Tripoli, if we take it, it's going to be a starting point. It's not going to be a profitable region. Tunis is interesting, but the thing is with taking Tunis is you can then get attacked from both directions. And I'm much more of a fan of creating one axis of attack. Austria cancel the trade agreements. Let's get one with... Ooh. Spain. Good. Let's go brig back, brig back to safety. There we go. The Austrians fancy casting our trade agreement. Fine, we'll get a trade agreement with someone else. I'm not going to be beholden to those people. Yeah, it's early on a Saturday morning. I've had my coffee. Well, I've got my coffee. I've done some chores. So I figured I'd be a bit more productive on my YouTube channel. I mean, 
a raid at endgame. They start to be a bit counterproductive because they will end up... Um, that'll end up being our money that we have to end up re replacing it with. We hope that we end up rebuilding it with. So what tech have you got? Nothing. I'm going to try request an alliance. Yeah. Tech. No. Alliance. Tech. To be honest, it might be because I've not, I've not got school. Because I, mean, I should at least be able to buy bayonets off of Prussia. Prussia, who is a protector of Dagestan. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to play this pretty safe. So we're, we're going to take Tripoli, and realistically we're going to be defending Tripoli. We're going to be occupying Tripoli for a while. Because we don't have any um, religious buildings. But one thing that has cropped up, actually... Spain's cancelled their trade agreement. Yeah, but I want to get it back with Spain. So an interesting proposition is Patras, because they do get a town. So the Iroquois are allied with the United Provinces and Venice. Don't really want to attack Venice, because they're in minor state and they aggro on people. But that would be a nice one to take, because I could build a building and then build a... a... Uh, Probably a church school. Try and start spitting out missionaries to send south. But let's just keep this going. Yeah, our army's starting to take a toll on our income. Let's hit end turn again. So next turn we march to war against Tripoli. So we might come into conflict with Spain if we go all the way to Morocco but to be honest that's way too far in the future to worry about now as it is I'm quite happy to just be left alone okie doke yeah 300 a turn and our trade we can't do anything about that so let's take you guys Rupe, I didn't want to say anything there because now they're now we've raided it. <laughs> Let's get our main fleet back to Malta. My brig can stay there. You guys march onwards to Tripoli, and I'm not going to attack them directly. I'm going to want to um, let them come to me. So Tripoli does have a town, but it's all the way to the east, and it's going to be very slow to develop because I have no... Ooh, Venice is at war with France. Um, yeah, that, there's a town to the east that, that can develop, but it will be slow to develop because I have no technologies providing any boosts. Thematically, I should probably, if I take North Africa, go east against the Ottomans. Um, but strategically, I always like going for Spain, because when you take Madrid, you gut them of most of their power. And Madrid's like a powerhouse region. It's got lots of towns. You can do lots and lots of things with a region like Madrid. But thematically, we are the... Bar we are the, the Knights of St. John, we do have a duty to there. So they've sent their one ship out. They demand I pay them for peace. No. I think we've lost a trade partner as well. Yeah. I mean, that's not good. Ah, no. I thought that was Muhammad Ali. I thought that's what the name was. Muhammad Al Amri. Patrizio Espolito. Besiege the capital. Do not attack. I don't have the money. And I want to get my navy out. 
Well, I just want to besiege them for a bit because, yeah, we're, we're slow. We're a bit above. Our head is just above water right now. Um, Spain, Spain, Spain. Yeah, I can't. They will have tax by now. Enough turns have gone by, but for whatever reason, I can't see them. But I didn't want to leave my brig there because I feared he would, the camel nomad unit, would push them out of the port. And then my, the Barbary State's navy would end up attacking it and destroying it. Or, at worst, capturing it. So I may as well retreat early. So they could they could sally to attack us, or well, not? They could not sally. They could send their camels at us to attack us, but it appears they have not. The agent keeps trying to kill my general, who is an expert siege defender. One of our, one of our ministers has got a mistress. Hello, Alonso Defendi. This guy's really good. Okay, so he's three plus one treasury, plus, plus, plus four treasury, plus five treasury, plus six treasury, plus seven treasury. So you're not enough to beat the treasury. You're not enough to beat the justice. Alright, three becomes four, becomes five, becomes six, becomes seven. You are four, five, six, seven. No. But you might be better than the head. So I might punt this guy over to the navy. This guy is. He's not bad, but we're getting some prime candidates. Good. Because that gains, gains, increases town rate of town wealth, increases diplomatic relations, and gets us prestige per turn. Too bad, my king. <laughs> well, it, it counteracts the king. The guts of it. But yeah, I don't want to build any more units because I can't really afford it. Especially as I'm probably going to have to replenish, do a bunch of replenishment on my army in Tripoli anyway. Because they're bound to get attacked. There you go. So. Let's see what happens. Fortunately, the Barbary State's quite weak on land, but... Ooh, hello. I heard one of my Italian units say something. What am I telling you? It's my Maltese units say something. A suspicious death. Yep, so their, general, their guy, they ended up actually killing my general, so let's get another one. Although that's probably just going to be another target for them. Spain cancelled our trade agreement again. I don't know why... No, they don't want to trade with us at all. Okay, can't trade with Britain. Let's go trade with New Spain. Two hundred twenty-six. Not worth as much, but we're losing this long-term trading partner bonus. It's only a matter of time, I suppose, before that that Hasharin or Hashashin, Hashashin or their their version of a rake killed us um, but these things happen too bad it's our expert siege defender he would have been handy to eventually bring back to Malta and just sit there it's a pity we're not trading with Spain and I don't want to jinx it but it's nice that we've not been attacked by many other big nations. Like once we end up taking... Yep, yeah, finally sallied out. Cool, so we're going to deploy far back so we don't get killed by their mortars. We're going to own it, but we're going to have to garrison it to keep them happy. They're not going to grow very much. Question of do I knock down their... Yeah, when I say deploy back, I mean deploy back. Because our army is tiny.
don't worry, I absolutely will speed it up because I don't want to sit here forever. I know it's very cheap to do this, but I do not want to take any chances. Then speed up time. So we've got Desert Warriors. Lots of soft units. Um, but then, but yeah, I still can't afford to really lose lose units easily. Oh, they can't. Okay, I was wondering why my why has my default movement come gone to this? Well, it's because obviously I can't actually get into the castle. Yeah, it's just a shame they're not sending all of their artillery at us. Could probably send my cavalry out to go and picket them, but meh. Yeah, well, I say we have a tech disadvantage. We very much do. We're not going to have bayonets for a long time. We're not going to get fired by rank for a long time. We're currently earning 300 gold a turn more than what our army can support. And trick and taking. Taking Tripoli will not help us significantly in that regard. Come on, water crew. Come on. Come out. So I, am, I have been eyeing up my use of cavalry. Well, disarm populace. Good, they're going to get shot to ribbons. Well, are they? Our dudes with guns are pretty good, but... Our dudes with guns are pretty good. Well, reasonable. They're not brilliant. Could do with making them rout, though, while they currently... Do they not even have... Oh, no, they've got... Oh, they're a melee troop. I see. Bring this cover out to go hit the Desert Warriors. Let's bring you guys out to go hit this armed populace unit. Send these guys to fire them off, as I can tell. Just for my guys getting into position, these guys will come down in range. Shooting it, but I've got a feeling it's going to be into the backs of my, my cavalry. Yeah, this cavalry may as well chase them down. Let's pull my cavalry back. And they're wavering now. Oh, they, 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 fight, they did break. Let's just get my cavalry back to safety. Don't want to be taking too many chances. Good. My militiamen, you can engage against this unit. Yeah, may as well mow these guys down while I've got the shot. Although they've now routed. Put this on fast and go faster speed. Let's 
pivot you guys a bit. You guys are all loading and firing as quickly as you can. It's the Armed Populous unit. It's a good opportunity to get a cheap bit of experience. Let's bring this cavalry unit out here. Made it. It's charge range. Now the focus is going to be on the this unit of Orta, which also has just swords. And they've broken. Firelock on populist, didn't read there. We're going to lose some cavalry to these scamps. The main concern very much is that mortar unit in the town. So we've got to come up with some way of defeating that. Might be a job I send militia in to do, to go and climb the walls. Especially as it looks like they're not going to rout, so militia scale the walls. And the idea with that is to get militia to scale the walls, capture a gate, and I can run a cavalry unit in to go take them out. So this is probably going to be very unhealthy for this unit. But I don't want to send a line infantry unit to do it. No siree. And pikemen can't do it. I mean, I could sit out here and wait. <laughs> and win. Because they, it's a sally and they've not sallied. So first volley, they've killed five guys. Six guys, my mortars. There we go. So they killed six guys and then they fled. And let's end the battle because it looked like they're about to come back. <laughs> um, that's a good win. So I lost 135 men and we killed a good chunk of their garrison. And it looks like their navy is ah, actually coming after, not coming after us, they're going after the Italians. Interesting. So you guys replenish, we're getting 500 now because we're getting a bit of return business. New Royal Air, Andre. How old are you? 52. You could deny at any time. You could die any time. And look. Concerned by spying, minus 5% chance of assassination, minus 10% chance of assassination. Why couldn't my general have that? Ah. Just keep holding on. They're going to sally out next turn and attack us. Um, and then we're, to be honest with Tripoli, we're probably going to put it on tax free because it provides no income. Um. And I'm probably also going to... I don't want to mess with policies right now because I have no, in, I have no reasons to gain money and I've barely got my head above water as it is. I'm tempted to destroy their trade port and build a food, a fishing port because it's cheap. It'll expand the population and it'll grow me that town to the east a bit quicker. Probably not as quick as I'd like, but... Yep, and they're attacking again. So let's do it. I have seen some people go, oh, they build an army, they immediately siege Rome. And that's the Italian States campaign. If I take Rome, that's more or less how it would feel. Okay. So 
Just not to play back quite as far now. Well, I say not, not as far back. Still pretty far back. Keep my cavalry out of it, because they're a bit depleted now. My militia and everyone can just... Stay there. Okay, there's their howitzers. Yeah, so I'm hoping they just... Hoping they abandon their guns and come out and join us. Because I do not want to fight them, no siree. Unfortunately, it looks like they are marching to the centre of our position. They're not going to march this way and force us, force around, the, force their way around the flank. Shame I have no artillery. Otherwise, I'd be lobbing round shot at them. Make no mistake. Just keep our cavalry all together. Hopefully, once we defeat their main armies, this guy will rout like last time. But yes, Triple E is. Not, yeah, tri yeah, Triple E. Not Tunis. Triple E. Triple E is pro probably going to get a fishing port instead of a trade port because it's not the money, it's the growth we really need. Maybe when I've got the town, I'll destroy the trade. I'll destroy the fishing port and rebuild a trade port once they're big enough. But until that point, it seems a bit surplus to requirements so I think these guys can outrange my infantry so if I run these guys out they can engage desert warriors Some populace made it. Got my militia sat right behind him. Whoa, they could fire well on. Silly me, that's going to cause a lot of problems. Good, starting to get some shots in the desert warriors. Not ideal, but at least they're armed populace. They're not actual melee units. But we're not very good at melee ourselves, so we're better than them, but that's not really that much of a benchmark. Okay, let's speed up time again. Artillery is just being idle, so I think this is going to be another job for this unit. So let's just get all of you involved. But I need to keep an eye out on their on their artillery. last time they got their volley off and then they routed so let's see if they do the same thing fired oh they killed a bunch of my guys there 263 becomes yep just another nine men in one shot with two guns that was a miss but at least it was a close miss another seven men they're going to get a lot of shots. Oh good, they routed. Damn right it was a heroic victory. Good. So this region should now be ours. Peace. No. 
No peace, Barbary states. We need you. We need your territory. So where's that camel unit? There it is. Okay, so pike, infantry, infantry, infantry. So what, are you camel gunners or your nomads? Okay. Actually, let's bait it with a couple of units of militia and a unit of pikes. Yeah, look, they are very unhappy. Signore. So much so, I may end up needing to... Something cheap. Can safely manage two units of infantry, two units of militia, and still be positive. Guys, I need to go and attack these guys. So then kill them with pikes. If animal gunners, that would be more frustrating. No mads. So if they want to get involved, they have to charge us. So my militia are there to be bait. See if we can actually get into musket range against these guys. I suspect as soon as we get within musket range, they'll probably just charge us. These guys just stay out of it. They're going to do a lot of damage to our pikemen. Actually, no, you guys get around here. Get around the back. Everyone guard mode off and attack them. Attack them. Yes, yeah, so our militia's wavering, while our pikemen are not. Pulling my militia out. Doesn't really matter. So the idea is that we're attacking them on both flanks. So they should, when they route, will get lots of kills. When they route. The militia aren't there to get kills. The militia are there to just make sure they get engulfed. kill we've got 12 guys left the more of them we kill the more likely they are um, be destroyed off of the map good so now these guys can march back to Tripoli and then we destroy this trade port because it's currently not doing anything useful and yes they are they really hate me ridge and rest is huge So it's pretty much it's a pretty big priority to get um, some religious buildings built because this region. If I start to get like if I move my army out, that religious unrest will keep the negative aspects of the of the public order enough, so that if I ever get any some any sort of you know increasing clamour for reform from advancing tech, they'll rebel because they are so angry. So why I need a church school and I need Protestant missionaries. I just need them so much to take over the North African coast. The workers on strike, let's rebuild the government building, that'll certainly help. Let's get these two militia embarked into the ships. 
marcia! Alla via così, capitano. Avanti! Per il Let's take e la corona! Leave our brig there and get our main fleet back to Valletta. Let's build a local fishery. And we are officially on very low money. So, but Ms. Misrata, I don't want to get two towns. Because Benghazi and Misrata is there. But still 44 turns. But the ports should really help. But yeah, they're negative 13. So... They're gonna they're gonna be very unhappy. So we're probably gonna need to put down a few rebellions in this region. Well there's no there's no way around it. You've got to do it. Um but building a fishing port will help to a degree to help get Misrata to do, to grow. To build a church school to help keep it stable. So you can really start to see the problems you have with the Knights of, Knights of St. John compared to other factions. Because with other factions I'll be well on my way to developing a decent economy by now. But with the Knights of St. John, um, I'm just pretty much hovering over positive. So they've destroyed, they've ruined the military governor's barracks. They can't even repair it this time. Yeah, this is going to go bad. But, there's not a lot you can do. So I don't want to attack Patras, because that'll bring me into war with Venice, although maybe attacking Venice might be a, might be a good move, because I'm friendly with the Austrians, and I'm friendly with... Ooh, yes, please... For that thousand pounds, thousand gold, sorry. Ooh, the Ottomans have declared on us. Come on, Poland. So, this is. I'm now going to change tack completely. So, we've taken the. We've taken. Um, <sighs> Tripoli. But now we're being attacked by the Ottomans. We now have much better fruit to go for. So much so, it is not worth holding on to Tripoli. So it's a pity that happened then. Because I don't want this. I'm going to destroy it. Diplomacy. Who wants Tripoli for cash? Regions. Offer region. Tripoli. I demand only a thousand. Ah, damn. But yes, so I'm, I've been attacked by the Ottomans, so I can either sit here squabbling over a territory that gives me nothing, or I could go and attack either Cairo, or Athens. Well, actually, what? Who are they at war with? The Russia, the pirates, and us. Unfortunately, they're not at war with the Austrians. Well, I mean, they should be. Wasn't this is Zagreb a Ottoman territory? I don't know. I can't remember now. But I want to take this army. Pull off a heist. Well, not a heist. But take this army. That's fairly good. I'm slightly negative, but I've got enough of a economy to support it. Then, do I send it to go and attack Cairo? And then do I do something like this? Minor nations, Barbary states, peace. I'll give you Tripoli for peace. Yeah, fair enough. What about just peace? Yeah. Um, yes, I could go take Cairo, and Cairo is worth a lot more money. Or, 
I could go take Athens. But Athens, lots of territories are open for raiding. I think I dropped my army off here. And send an army to march on Cairo, because Cairo does not get much of a garrison. Send this brig up to go do some. Whoa! Uh oh. Oh my. Well, that's not good at all. That's really not good. Okay. Can I pick? I can't pick you guys up, can I? Not this turn. Nope. Okay, let's get you back into port. Let's get you to raid Greece. Yeah, well, you're there for the duration now, I think. Yep, yeah, Tripoli's rebelled. Diplomacy. Let's try and. I really want to try to give away this territory. they all can tell that it's about to rebel. That's really not good. So with this brig out here at least I'll have I think I will have some so if they send their navy out here this navy will be blocked in but hopefully that means this brig will still have room to move. Question is, do I build a line infantry unit back here? I think I've got to, in case they come after us. But we might go massively negative. We'll be bankrupt next turn, so I'll probably have to destroy it, really. But hopefully taking Cairo should certainly help. No, you betrayed me at the first turn. Screw you, Poland. Oh good, yes, have Tripoli, have it. Absolutely good. I commend you on your initiative, sir. Although that does mean that that army will now could march east to try and take Cairo from us. Which could be awkward. Especially as we've got our army's not great and we're now fighting against well we will soon be fighting against swarms of Ottoman troops. And that's really not good at all. Yes. So I want to peace with them peace out with them so they don't Oh yes, especially as the Ottoman the Barbary states are gonna be tied up with Oh yeah, they like oh they like the Ottomans because they're the same religion. <sighs> Damn. Okay, we're only slightly negative. So we lost Tripoli. Mostra my stuff. Allarmi! Sono in trappola. But we're gonna have to attack Cairo. <laughs> and Cairo is an interesting one. Good build a school but well, I think I have to build a church school okay so four mile battle line form a flanking division put two cavalry on the flank there put a cavalry unit on the flank there pikes in the center run up quickly. Get our 
smashing Islamic swordsmen, they're a bit scary. Unfortunately, they're aiming for my pikes. Set a little trap for this Islamic swordsman. We've lost 30 men in one volley. Bring our cavalry in hard and fast. They could probably even go for the pikes. get wide you guys get ready to smash straight into that like swordsman center should fall pretty easily in as well, not that it'll matter. Excellent. Very excellent. Although, is that everyone? Should be. They've got a hidden unit somewhere there. Is going to get some free shots against my regiment of horse. Yeah, they only killed two. Now well, they've turned their back. Well, now they've killed a lot more. Run my militiamen back. To form a gun line. So I may as well try to get my get my militia to kill some garrison musketmen at, at range, rather than just charging in. Just militia. get a volley off before the game ends, lads. Yes, another garrison design. formed up yet so we might be able to get them before they shoot at us yep they have speed of time slaughter them oh, let's end it there okay we've managed take the Ottoman city of Cairo and it is slightly growing 66 turns skill Alexandria the tax burden is huge craft workshops and a bawdy house upgrading this to a weaver's cottage would be cool but I need to destroy it religious unrest is 8 and that's big still 
I need, to, I need to get that down. I also need to get schools. It might even be worth trying to get peace with the Ottomans. Because it's going to take us quite a few turns to secure this position. Especially with the Ottomans to the west and to the east. So Cairo is going to be under siege for a while. If this campaign dies early on, I'll restart it with a different tactic. Like maybe I will go straight for Madrid, maybe. Doesn't seem thematically the right thing to do, but... Oh god, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah, they blockaded my ports, so we have no trade, and that's that. Yeah, I think that, that could be it. But what I'll probably do is I'll see if I can recover my army. Okay, so what did I say? You are going to be bankrupt. Oh yeah, I mean, I can't fight that. There's nothing for it, so I might do this. Open peace. I'll give you back Cairo for peace. Yeah, the Sultan will have you flayed alive. So obviously this cannot continue because I'm grand in the hole. So let's try and do some merging. I mean, I'm still going to be yeah, 900 in the hole. I can't build anything, can't do anything. My only option of peace by giving them back Cairo, they will not accept because they're that much stronger than me. <laughs> so at the end of an hour special, you re come to conclusion that I can't actually do anything because I can't. I can't move my army anywhere of use. I mean, unless if I went straight for Istanbul, but I doubt that'd work. Now what's there in Jerusalem? Okay, let's try this. Because I'm tempted to restart this campaign anyway. Not restart it, but... Damn. My, my hope was to try and take Jerusalem, and then I try and make peace. So let's see if I can... Maybe now I'm attacking one of their regions. Can't offer any payment. Can't demand any technology. Offering definite military access. Yeah. Nope. So... Turns out, from this first start attacking um, Northern Africa, <laughs> just doesn't work because you're either squ as soon as you start squabbling over um, North African territory, things go badly wrong. And then if you try and attack the Ottoman states, all they've got to do is blockade Malta, and then you're uh, you're done. And I can't make peace of them, so. I am a thousand troop. I'm a thousand coin in the hole. Um, if I disband pretty much all of my armies, Signore. probably what it would take. There I can end. I can disband it with that many men. I shouldn't have left that brig out there because now he's going to be intercepted by the Ottoman fleet. But my only hope, my only hope, is to try and make peace. Yeah, so they're already responding. 
to what's happening. And they're going to go attack my brig. Yep. Not that it was that much of a big deal, because my only hope was to try and make peace, and that way my army in the in, in Egypt would teleport back to would teleport back to Malta. That's my only real hope. But to be honest, I've only sent an hour into this campaign. If I have to restart it, then then I will. It's just a bit unfortunate. It's taken. It got right to the end of the right to the end of the hour special, and to be honest, I don't think there's anything I could really have done differently. I had, you have to either pick shipyard or trade port in Malta. The workers on strike. Let's get you back. Just to keep them, just to keep them chill. They're making a mild amount of cash a turn. Actually, let's not do that. Diplomacy, Ottomans, peace and regions. Damn happy. Got a whole bunch of end turn bashing here. But yeah, I think the best option is to build up a f an army like what we've done. Maybe even attack Portugal. Maybe attack Portugal. That way you're not immediately on the sp on Spain's shit list by attacking their territories. I mean, I've still got the problem of Malta being my capital. Investigating, can I move my capital? Because I would definitely like to attack Lisbon, my capital, to Lisbon. Because then I get a school. It's a Catholic region. It's like a it's like an it's like a star, but it's. Don't break your own things. Peace, regions, Egypt. At some point you're going to have to leave. Yeah, I think I'm just going to restart because right now I've got no... I've got no army really. Um, this strategy hasn't worked, so I'm probably going to go for. Well, let's check. You know, Portugal's pretty independent, apart from Dagestan. Portugal's pretty independent. Um, Britain likes them, but I think that's probably the best option. So I'm not at war with Spain or Morocco. I can sail through the Strait and land troops in Portugal. I think that's probably the option. But looking at the timer, it's time to end this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, as much value as you got out of this part, and I'll see you in episode two, where I'll I'll restart and then I'll probably go for Portugal. Um, I think Portugal's the best bet. I mean, I could go for Madrid, but Spain's pretty good. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.